Hi friends, welcome to Art NCN. Our today's topic is to how to paint skyscape in watercolor. Firstly, we have to understand that what makes the sky so beautiful. The sunlight, clouds, air, dust, birds, so on. So, in this video, we will understand the perspective of clouds. Here you can see that I am making the clouds. The clouds in the front are broader, clouds in the middle are less broad and the clouds, clouds in the middle ground is thin and dense. You can see that clouds which are in front having more light and set and transulent but the clouds which are more near towards middle ground having opaqueness monotonous color into it. So it is this is all you need to understand about the clouds. Now let us understand how to set in white on white watercolor technique. Now coming to the technique. First I have wet the paper. Now I am adding wet color into it by lifting some white in between to show clouds in the sky. Now adding some shades in clouds by using one cool tone that is ultramarine blue and using crimson a warm color. As clouds are white, where sun gives sunshine on one side of the cloud, then another side of the cloud, mostly middle of the cloud, having a warm gray shade into it. Now another technique whether and whenever be needed to lift up the paint first wet the brush then squeeze out the excess water to use the lifting up technique in the paper so this is here our today's painting i am starting to paint a lovely skyscape where you will see the previous techniques i have shared so this is here you can see i am using a flat brush will use the brush according to the direction of the sunlight Firstly, I am giving raw sienna and gamboge was in the middle and upper sky. Now I am adding orange in the middle sky. You can see. Since it is a skyscape, the two third of the paper is dedicated to the sky. Now you can see that in the upper sky, I am adding cerulean blue with ultramarine blue. Where, wherever the cerulean blue needed more amount where cerulean blue is added more and wherever we needed ultramarine blue in, in more amount there is ultramarine blue added in the more amount now i'm using the color in the middle sky made of orange cambodge and burnt sienna now i'm making the front clouds as i have told the things earlier so i am using ultramarine and crimson with little bit touch of scarlet So now you can see what I have discussed earlier, some lifting off from in, the, in the large clouds in front to show the light of the sun.
now giving the orange wash in the middle ground in such a way it would give me the feel of sunlight in the painting. Now I have started working on the ground since light is from the back side so ground is darker I am making ground as considering the sunlight in mind Now you can see that I am making top of the mountain little darker to show the light is behind it. Now you can see that I am making trees in the foreground and some details to show some human settlement in the foreground. Another most important thing in watercolor is that Lesser the color, better the impact it will be for creating light, for creating mood, for creating atmosphere and whatever you want to show using this medium. I am adding some details in the tree and giving shades in tree using orange and gamboge. So to, to show the lights in trees which is reflected on leaves through sun, sunshine. Adding some details on trees, on foreground, air and rail. Now I am adding some birds in the sky. Adding birds in the sky gives viewer a feeling of life, movement, perspective in the sky. Adding some detailing wherever be required. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Our painting is just completed. Last thing, adding signature in the painting. I hope you will like our today's painting. Please subscribe our channel, like, comment, share and most of all thanks for watching